Hello friends, welcome back to another session of Web Technologies tutorial. In today's class, I'm going to show you the importance of uh, Lang attribute and how to use the Lang attribute. So this is the notepad. So inside the notepad, I am just uh, will show you how to put in the Lang attribute. Okay, so how to use Lang attribute. Okay, fine. Um, so what's the purpose of the Lang attribute? So the Lang attribute specifies the language of the element's content, okay? So it specifies the language of the element's content. And where we need to give this Lang attribute? We need to give this Lang attribute inside the start tag of the HTML element. So I'm giving the HTML element. So this is the start tag of the HTML element. Uh, first, I will show you without giving the lang attribute and then I'll show you what will happen when you give the lang attribute. So inside the body um, element, so I'm taking one h1 uh, tag. Inside this, I am um, typing in the text in Telugu. Okay. So I'm saying na uh, feru suda. Okay. So I am just typing in, uh, but the... Um, Meaning of that is in Telugu, but what I have typed is in English. Okay, so I'm uh, putting in in the H1 tag. Okay, so and then I'm closing uh, the body tag and the HTML tag. Okay, um, so now um, this is the content in the element and this content need to be interpreted by your browser. So when I did not mention any lang attribute here, uh, it will by default take it and consider it to be English. Okay, so when I launch it in the browser, uh, so let me save this. I saved it as a.html and when I launched it on the browser, so you can see it is understanding it to be in English because I also have written the text in English. It will take this to be in English itself. Uh, say, for example, I am actually giving the text in Telugu but I didn't give the Lang attribute. So to do that, I'm going into the Google uh, translations. And inside this, I am uh, uh, typing something in Telugu. So I'm saying na uh, peru uh, suda. Okay, so I just have typed na peru suda. So this is in Telugu. So let me copy this and take it to the notepad. And then let me paste this over here. So I just paste na pair suda and I have saved this. Now the element is H1 element and the content in the H1 element is in Telugu. Okay. But uh, here I didn't give what is the language of uh, the element's content. It will again consider this to be in English. Okay. So what it will do is, um, so when I actually, so I saved this and let me go to the a.html and refresh this. When I refresh this, it is showing whatever content I have typed there. It is considering it to be English and it is showing it in the same way that I have written there on the it's considering it to be English and it is showing it in the same way that I have written there on the browser. Okay, so this is without the lang attribute. Now, let us see the magic. What will happen when I actually give the lang attribute? Now inside this HTML tag, so this lang attribute need to be given in the HTML start tag. So inside the HTML start tag, I am saying lang is equal to, and now I need to mention the language that the elements uh, content is. So here H1 is the element and the content of this particular H1 element is in Telugu. Okay, so here in the language, I am saying that the content of the elements is in Telugu. So, TE is the code for Telugu. So, I am giving it as TE. Not only giving it, um, for example, sometimes uh, in case if it is English, the code is EN. But uh, the way um, the uh, English language uh, in UK is different from the English that is spoken in US and also the English that is spoken in Australia or across the globe. So English is different in different different countries. So you can also associate the country code along with the English code. So say for example, I can give a hyphen and say that it is US English or it is UK English and so on. So it is only two letter code 
um so here the content is in telugu so i'm giving pa and also i can mention the country also so i mentioned the country to be in in is the country code for india or else you can simply give t okay so let me save this now specifically i told that the language in this particular web page is written in telugu okay so now let us see what will happen here so let me go to the browser and as I refresh, you can see I got a drop down box over here, which is telling me translate page from Telugu. Okay, because I said like the language is in Telugu. So now it is asking me like, do, do you want me to translate the page from Telugu? And it is giving you to which language you want to translate this to. So it is saying translate to. Okay, so I you, you can translate to any of the language that you speak. So here I'm giving it as tel English. Okay, so I want to translate the Telugu page into English page. And as I click on translate, you can see that uh, here also it is showing me the status that it is translated and here it is showing me my name is Sudha. Okay, so it is translating this Telugu Na Peru Sudha in English which is my name is Sudha. I haven't given my name is Sudha here. Okay, but the web page is translating. Okay, your browser is translating the Telugu in into English. But this did not happen when I didn't give this Lang attribute in the HTML. Okay. So I hope everybody understood the concept of giving lang attribute inside your HTML. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.